Hi, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeat.com and uh, welcome back to the shop. Today something a little bit different. I got my son Mike with me again and uh, today we're going to upgrade the shop lights. Currently I have uh, fluorescent tubes up in here and Mike has uh, got me some LED replacements. So Mike, uh, can you explain uh, what, these, uh, what these are? These are ballast bypass LEDs. So you have a line side and neutral side. So you go in, you cut your ballast out, you wire one side of the fixture power, one side neutral, and put it in. So that, that's it? I mean, uh, so I guess there are two different types of these lights? Or yeah. You so said you have this the, is ballast bypass? Yeah. What's that mean? You just completely eliminate the ballast? Yes. And the other, I guess, uses the ballast with it? Yeah, you can. they're just insta-fit LEDs, so they'll go in and you can leave the ballast and it works. So, um... Let me ask you this, is there a pro or a con between the two different ones? I prefer these just because you kind of you get rid of the ballast, they seem to just kind of be better overall. I don't know, I mean I haven't messed too much with the, uh, the InstaFit, they just kind of seem junky and finicky when they're going in. They don't always work. Put in a few hundred of these. Okay, and so um, as far as light color, I know the LEDs have light color and so many lumens. So, uh, where did these rate at in that mix? I believe these are 4000K, 2200 lumen a piece, T8 GE LED bulbs. So they're fairly Lights. bright. Yeah. Okay, well I tell you what, uh, let, me, uh, let me let the viewers see what the existing lights look like. And uh, we'll show uh, maybe installing one set of these. And then when we get one bank done, uh, we can maybe see if there's a light difference. So in my shop, uh, I have two, two sets of lights. I have two uh, eight foot fixtures on each side, right? It's for a total of four, and each, each fixture has four foot bulbs. And uh, so they're on separate circuits. So we'll, we'll shut off one circuit, we'll do one side, and um, I'll show you a little bit of the installation if I can. Uh, Michael's gonna do most of that. He's uh, sort of the uh, uh, electrician in the family. I'm more of a computer geek, and uh, so we'll show that, and then we'll s maybe we can see the difference between the bulbs. So um, let me get you a shot of the um, shop bulbs. So okay, these are uh, the fixtures on one side of the shop, and uh, this is sort of the light that it produces. Here you can almost see all four. What I want to do is uh, we're going to swap out uh, the lights on one side to see if there's a difference in brightness from one to the other, and let me just sort of bring this down a little bit. Sorry about the squeaking and stuff, I don't have that great of a tripod. So we see the amount of light, and I'm hoping that uh, after we replace this, we can see a before and after. And what I'll try to do is I'll try to put a side-by-side uh, -side frame of these and just see how it goes. So let's, uh, let's change the side and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna take these bulbs out. Pass these down to you. And have your shoulder on little clips that spin. Here we're taking out the ballast. So you have your two powers. Or your power and your neutral, and then you have it where it all comes out of the other side of the ballast. So you have this yellow, runs all the way to the far side. And you have these two blues that go to this side. These two reds go to this one. And then you have the yellow for this side. So all you really have to do is tie one side neutral, one side power. One side neutral, one side power and then just put it back together and put your bulbs in. All right, so Mike, what are you doing now? So I tied the three neutrals together. So it'd be this one and that one. And I'm about to tie the power together. It's gonna be this one and that one. And then we'll just tie the neutral to neutral and the power to power. And that's all it takes? That's all it takes. Strip 
power of the neutral. And again, guys, I'm uh, sorry about the handheld. You know, I'm uh, not the most steadiest guy on the planet. Now, look, I, as we're doing this, I just want to suggest that uh, if you're uncomfortable with this kind of stuff, you probably should hire uh, an electrician to do it. Mike has been doing this stuff for a long time. Uh, he's been, you know, he uh, handles most of this stuff for me. Uh, most residential wiring I can handle myself, but uh, you know, if you're uncomfortable, seek a professional. I, I strongly okay. advise that. Okay. So at this point, we're just going to pretty this up and kind of get it tucked in there, and then put the little covers back on, and then we'll put some bulbs in. Okay. On these bulbs you have a, an N, which is neutral, so these matter which way they go in, and then you have an L over here for the line side. And then when you put them in, there's a top and a bottom, so this is the bottom of the bulb. So you want to twist it to where this is going to be facing the top. So the top has a uh, sort of a, That's a nice has a has a solid strip across the top, and then the rest is sort of diffused. Yeah, yeah and that's where the light's actually going to come out. Okay. Alright, so uh, on the right hand side of your screen, you'll see the bulbs that we just replaced and the left hand screen, or the left side of the screen, you'll see the bulbs at uh, the regular, you know, fluorescent fixtures. And I think, uh, if you look at the two, I think the ones on the right are a little bit brighter. Let's pan down so we're not really looking at the lights and just looking at the um, light thrown out about the shop. So really, you know, I can't tell any difference this way, but I know looking up that um, the light is a little better. So I tell you what, I, uh, what do you think? Take a, take a good close look at that. Do you think the uh, fixture on the right side is brighter, dimmer, or about the same as the one on the left side? Um, and what do you think about uh, using half the energy? Do you think that's the uh, way to go? Is the way I see it, uh, if I can save a few pennies on my electric bill, <laughs> that's the way to go. All right, so let's get in position to uh, do the ones on the other side, and I'll catch you over there. All right, so Mike, um, you've done three of the four lights. This is the last one. So uh, just one more time for the uh, subscribers. What is it that you have to do to make these work? These are... Uh, uh, bypass or ballast bypass uh, LEDs, LEDs. Yeah. so you cut out the ballast you take one side you wire it to the hot you take the other side wire it to the neutral yep and then that's that right that's it that's that's okay it. all right so uh, pop that breaker on man let's, uh, let's see these things come on or let's see you embarrass yourself whichever one uh, probably embarrass myself I think all of them messed up come on right oh, no actually everything's you're batting a hundred, a thousand percent so far. Survey says, yeah, flip the right one. Don't do like I did. Oh, there it goes. All right, so uh, let me get Mike back over here and let's close this video out. So, hey, look, I want to thank my son, Mike. He's a good kid. You know, he's the baby of the family. And uh, I don't care what you say about babies, man. They, um, they come back and they do what's right. So what do you think? Do you think there's a little more light? Can you really tell? Is it, uh, was it worth the, uh, I don't know, hour yeah, man. that we spent cutting out ballasts? Well, actually, that Mike spent cutting out the ballast and uh, replacing the bolts um, versus uh, maybe uh, saving uh, a third or a half the cost of electricity. I don't know. But uh, now maybe it's just me, but I think it's brighter in here, right? I, I like it. I like it. So uh, 
Mike has a, a channel, a YouTube channel. Mike, why don't you explain about it a little bit? Yeah, so it's Hill Earth Garage. I do uh, some repair work. At, you know, right now a project's a boat, a pain in the butt boat. The engine came out of it once already. Didn't record it, should have. But it's coming back out because the mounts are messed up in the boat. We have to find a way to you know fill the holes, redrill, tap something, and get the boat mounted. But that's the kind of stuff we do. You know, working on a '91 Sonoma, just trying to build a drag truck, just fun stuff, piddling. That's about it. Now, Mike, you have a uh, you bought or I think very cheaply at the time. Uh, I think it was a '94 Dodge Dakota that. Uh, Seemed like it was a little weavy in the front because it had a bad bearing, would barely run and stuff like that. You've been working on that truck too, haven't you? Yeah, we've done a pile of work to that thing. Uh, man, with brakes and shocks and timing chain and injectors, fuel pump and just all kinds of stuff. Still have more stuff sitting right over here for it, AC stuff. And yeah, it seems like you, uh, you've done water pump, you've done a, a whole bunch to that truck. and. Uh, I think uh, I'll put a link down into uh, the description of Mike's channel, Hill Dearth Garage. Uh, Mike's a pretty talented uh, young mechanic. Um, he works hard. He has a great aptitude for it. If you got a chance, go visit him and see what he's doing. And uh, I know that he's been really busy with life. I know that you got a baby coming along the way, yeah. grand baby, right? I'm excited about that. So, uh, but now life is starting to settle out for him and he's sort of jacking himself in a position work-wise where uh, he has a little bit more free time and less travel because he, because, uh, he has been traveling a lot lately. Um, so I, I encourage you to go visit his channel, Hill Dearth Garage. The uh, link will be in the description below. And uh, other than that, hey, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, I know this is sort of a different video for uh, my channel. Uh, as was the power, stone peer, uh, power, power steering pump, yeah, if I could say that three times real fast, uh, video that I, I put out about a month or so ago. Um, but hey, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for being so patient. And uh, if, if these videos are of any help, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. Other than that, have a blessed day.